Hello, sports fans. Now, as you know, things aren't looking so good for the old pack. So far, we lost to the Vikings and the Cowboys, and if that idiot Ted Thompson doesn't make some changes too, we might just lose to the gosh darn Bears. It's starting to remind me of the dark days of the pack, back when we had Dan the Magic Man, Magikowski at the helm, and the good Lord had not yet sent the patron saint of gunslaying, Brett Favre, to the frozen tundra. Now, I sell a lot of letters to Lambeau, and written a lot of comments on Green Bay Gazette web articles about how to get the pack to win again, but the key team keeps making the same mistakes over and over. Heck, I've even been outright banned from both the Acme Packing Company web forum and the Packers Facebook page for dropping too many truth bombs. Those idiots just don't get it. Anywho, here are a few ideas the Pack should use so they can win a few games and win all the Super Bowls that they are entitled to as the Green Bay Packers. Idea number one, fire Ted Thompson into the sun using some kind of rocket ship. I'm always reading the news about these billion dollar nerds like the Facebook guy or the electric car guy shooting rockets into space. How about we put them to good use? Now, Ted Thompson has only won two Super Bowls since 2005. That's 11 years. Heck, give me Brett Favre and I could win you at least five Super Bowls in 11 years, no problem. Which brings me into my next idea. Replace Ted Thompson with someone good. It's obvious Ted Thompson is bad, so they should get someone good to manage the pack. Who else could manage the pack better than the guy who manages the whole state of Wisconsin? Not Walker, though he's busy. I'm talking about Tommy Thompson, the greatest governor the Fox River Valley has ever known. I mean, what else does he have to do all day anyway? Number three, Eddie Lacy needs to lose some gosh darn weight. Listen, Eddie, I know it's hard to live in this state and not weigh 800 pounds. We got the long winners and the pork sausage and the slow cooked sauerkraut spare ribs and the KFC Pizza Hut buffet with convenient parking. But you can keep the weight off. Way back in high school, when I needed to make weight for the wrestling team, I just drink Gatorade with only half the powder mixed in the water. That way you get the electrolytes, but not the calories. If the coach really got on my case, I'd switch from Miller High Life to Miller Lite. And if he got really angry, I'd even drink Michelob Ultra. Number four, bring back John Coon. John Coon is no doubt down in New Orleans, eating gumbo and getting touchdowns. The pack needs that guy back. I don't care what they need to do to get him. That's classic football right there. You just give the big fullback the ball. Then he runs in a straight line. Then we get the touchdown and we shout his name. It's great. And it's a travesty. We can't do that anymore. Ripkowski, that's a great fullback name. But it's just so hard to shout real loud. Number five. Rodgers and Clay gotta stop consorting with those goofy Hollywood types. Now, I know Aaron Rodgers is from the People's Republic of California, but it's the green and gold, not the avocado and chardonnay. This fancy Hollywood actress lady he's dating probably has him eating vegan and worshiping Satan, and that ain't good for the Hail Mary. Also, instead of guest starring in Hollywood musicals, my wife rants off the red box, how about instead the pack get up at 5 a.m. and run wind sprints until they can't see straight? That's how you win games. Besides, LA's got a team now. Let them star in the fancy movie theater musicals. If the pack puts these tips to good use, I'm calling it right now. We're beating the Bears 76 to 3. I'd bet a case of spotted cow on it. If not, well, who knows. But if they do lose, I can tell you I'll be on the Facebook writing posts in all capital letters. Anywho, uh, here's a stupid dog making a pick. Mugs, it's okay. the bear